Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Having talked a lot about glucose, let's start with the fructose. The name fructose came from this fruit. F-R-U, this came from this fruit. Also called fruit sugar. It was discovered by a French chemist, Pierre, in 1847. Right? from fruit actually and the pure dry fructose is very very sweet it's very very sweet so if you see they have the molecular formula of C6H12O6 right and on the basis of the reaction again it was found that it has ketonic functional group so if you see glucose and fructose they have same formula but glucose was aldehyding and this is has ketonic functional group Correct. And as I told, it belongs to D series. It is. It belongs to D series. And also, it is levo rotatory compound. The glucose was dextro rotatory compound. We used to use D plus. Here it is D minus. This is the structure of fructose. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six carbon. It has a ketone group glucose had had aldehyde group please remember glucose has aldehyde group and my fructose has ketone group and this is d minus this is also d because oh group is on the right hand side this is the three dimensional structure of fructose and this pure and dry fructose is very speed white this c is pure white it's orderless crystalline solid this is most water soluble sugar and this is generally found in honey, grapes, root vegetables, flowers etc. And commercially this fructose is derived from sugar cane, sugar beet etc. We see the reaction sugar cane on, on hydrolysis give equal amount of glucose and fructose. So this is uh, about fructose we have this molecular formula similar to glucose the only difference is the fructose is ketonic group, the glucose is aldehyde group. The fructose is levorotatory, that is D minus. The glucose is dextrorotatory, that is D plus. And the name of the fructose came from fruits, also called fruit sugar. Let's see the preparation of fructose. Same reaction we have seen. We have this sucrose. We use the enzyme called sucrase, the enzyme. This enzyme helps us in breaking this sucrose into glucose and fructose. And fructose has a different structure. If you see, it has a pyrene structure, this has a furan structure. We will talk about the structure of fructose. This is same reaction which we have seen. See, uh, this is sucrose on hydrolysis in the presence of catalyst and some acid. You get fructose and glucose. And this is my sucrose, that is my sugar cane. So let's talk about the uh, fructose in a little bit more. So this is the open structure of fructose. Similar to glucose, glucose also has open structure and cyclic structure. So fructose also has two cyclic structures. Correct? These two are the cyclic structure of fructose. Here also if you see what happens is the reaction happens between this OH and this carbon. Now if you see here, in this chain we have only 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon and 1 oxygen. Correct? If you see, in the chain we have only 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon and 1 oxygen. So you get a structure similar to furan. So it is also called furanose structure. Correct? So we will draw how a structure of fructose now. So let, let me draw the how a structure of this. It will be something like this. This will be the power structure. If you see the structure, this is linked actually. Yeah. The structure is similar to 
furan it's also called furanos correct so they are again two different forms similar to glucose alpha and beta fructose also called fructo furanos why because its shape is similar to furan correct so we'll see the hawa structure same method we want if you want to convert from a uh, uh, fisherman this is my fisherman structure this is my hawa structure right similar reaction we'll see here so here also whatever is on the right will come down and whatever is on the left will come so let's draw from this to this so first draw this let's give the number to carbon 1 2 3 4 right so here in my case or sorry it will be uh, other around it will be 2 because this is my first carbon and let's number it 2 3 4 5 this is carbon 2 i have ch2oh and oh2 potash so oh is on the right hand side i'll put it on the bottom and this i'll put on the top similarly the carbon 3 i have h and oh H on the right hand side, H goes down, OH goes up. Similarly, on the carbon four, I have OH and H. OH in the right, OH goes down, H goes up. On the carbon five, I have H and CH two OH. H goes down, CH two OH goes up. Please note, the CH two OH is always on the up. <coughs> this this CH two OH. Then right. that's how you convert from uh, fisherman structure to hawa structure. Let's see if my fructose is reducing or not. Again, same formula. I have to see if it has aldehyde, ketone, or hemiacetyl. So let's see. See, <coughs> the best way is. i know there is a o here so that means i have to pick either this carbon or this carbon only these two carbons can be reducing because i am looking for or correct even instead of h if we have r it will be fine now if you see this carbon i have or i don't have oh anywhere i have two Because this will also become an R, right? Because this is not OH. This is CH two OH. CH two OH. This will also become R. So if you take C five, I have OR here. This one, I have some R here. I have an H here, and then again I have some R here. This is not hemiacetyl. So this carbon is not reducing. Let's talk about C two. So C two, if you take There is R here. There is CH two OH some R. There is OH here. There is OR here. And there is again there is R here. Correct. So if you see, this is my hemiacetyl form. Since this is a hemiacetyl form, I can see that my fructose is a reducing sugar. Also, we know that all the monosaccharides are reducing sugar. We have discussed this. Correct. Similarly, here also, if you see this one, if you take this carbon, C two carbon, so I have OH here. The CH two OH I'll consider as R. This whole chain will be some R, R dash, and this will be some OR. See, this is also hemiacetyl form. So this is also reducing carbon. If you take C five, here also you will see there is OR, there is R. R and H. There is no OH group in this. This C five carbon is also not reducing carbon. Only this carbon is reducing carbon. Correct. So even if there is one carbon which is reducing carbon, the whole molecule will be a reducing molecule. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.